Jonathan. Catcher. Jonathan Lucroy. In is the catcher, Jonathan Lucroy. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. He swings and grounds it to short, and that finds its way through for a base hit. A lot of base hits up the middle. Set your sights up the alleys and try to take it back up the middle Lucas hard like he did right here. Nice job. Ken Griffey. Into the box, Ken Griffey, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Pretty lucky to get away with that one. There's not a situation ever where you want to throw a high changeup, so I think he'll try to make an adjustment with the next one he throws. From the stretch. Line to the right side. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Oh, the old CNI base hit. The changeup's down. The nice. batter goes down to get Petra. it and still finds Garrett. a hole to put it through. Cool. Good pitch. Better hitting. Your Number seven please. will get a chance to and swing the bat the here, and he'll do it in a good spot Number as he seven. has runners at first and second and nobody out in the inning. Now the Diamondbacks get a left-hander up and working in the bullpen. There's a swing and a high, deep drive headed for the right field corner. And nearly a three run shot. One, here's the pitch. A oh, double play ball to second. Four, six, three, and they turn the double play. Digging in to try it again. Geronimo Novoa. Geronimo Novoa. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Swing and oh my. Hit him with the high. And here and I mean by plenty that ball was crushed so it's a two run shot to right center as they extend the lead to five to nothing well when a manager talks about hitting being contagious that is exactly what we're talking about one guy tees off and the guy behind him starts to feel a little bit more confident a little bit more focused the next thing you know you've got three home runs in an inning and your entire offense is off and running center field into the box six. now Starling, Starling Marte Marte as he'll take a look at ball one he hit a sack fly earlier. The one and no delivery. Line drive to center field. Pollard is there and he puts it away to stop the bleeding. So four runs in the inning, but of note there was that they came on the strength of three home runs. On now to the bottom of the second, the Storm lead this one five to nothing.
Tony Watson, the 6'4 southpaw, pitching. comes in out of Tony the bullpen to do the pitching. Watson. So stepping in, Jake Lamb. And his guys have quite a hill to climb. Down five zip here in the early going. Goes down to get the sinker, and it's chopped foul at the plate. It's strike one. He's ready. Here's the 0 1. Swing and a liner. But this is a foul ball. Two quick strikes, and now the 0 2. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. All right, here's how the visitors are lining up defensively, courtesy of Majestic. And behind the plate is Jonathan Lucroy. You know, everybody talks about his ability to frame pitches. One of the best framers in all the game, but I really like how he catches and throws. This guy can catch. Here's Yasmani Tomas. Alex Colome, a six foot now two pitching. inch right hander, jogs Alex. in to take over on the mound. First delivery to him on the way. Now a fastball that couldn't quite find the zone. It's ball one. That misses 2 0. Oh. Now with the 2 0 -oh count into power at the plate, it could be fireworks time. This is the kind of count he makes his money too high. And it's 3 and 0. Oh. And there's a strike as he'll try to work his way back. It's 3 and 1. And then that's a pretty good example of why he's such a great pitcher. Yeah, stuff. Stuff is obviously the important key to being dominant on the mound. But it doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't have outstanding control to go along with it. But he does, and he really spotted that pitch. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Gives money to Moss. Goes down for the second, second out in the bottom half. Brandon. Well, we'll Drew see a Reed. lot of these power arms coming out of the bullpen in these days, but it doesn't make it any less impressive to me. I love watching guys come in and blow smoke right by guys. Brandon Drury will bat next. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1-0. Oh. He'll try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. And this winds up inside for a ball. Two and oh now. Two out, nobody on. Too tight with that one. Three and oh. Went about halfway there, but it's a called strike regardless. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. A breaking ball taken on the inner corner. That is a filthy combination. High 90s with the fastball and then that nasty curveball. It's almost unhittable, almost unfair to the hitter. In there, a base hit. Oh, he hits a little dying quail behind the infielder. I tell you what, he couldn't have thrown that ball any better. Talk about placement. That was perfect. Herman. In now, Chris Herman, as he lines it hard to the right side, but out of play. Oh, he's clearly hitting off a fastball right there. You don't hit one that hard if you're not looking for it. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. Drury rounds the corner and is headed home. He is in time, and he's cut down at the plate as they team up to gun him down. So they pick up no runs on two base hits, no errors, and a runner left on. We'll go now to the top of the third. The Storm are out in front here, five to nothing. Ready for another chance. Willie McCovey. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Willie McCovey. 